Welcome back to the cutting fiber charge saw blade uh, part two. Uh, in this one, we're going to start uh, working inside the components. Uh, we'll still be using some of the sketches from above uh, at the larger, at the assembly level. But if I, as long as I can remember, uh, which I tend to forget sometimes, uh, we'll be working inside the components. Now, let's work inside the blade. Excuse me. Here we can see the tooth pattern. We can obviously be using the same, well, we would like to uh, use the sketch again to drive the pattern. We can see there's something going on here and it's going along with the ripple. So inside of the blade component, you can see that's first, uh, excuse me, it's first uh, feature here is the thicken, so that's what made the component. So similar to what we did with the previous sketch plane at the end of that line, I'm gonna put a sketch right here at the end. So I need a plane for that. So I'm gonna do a plane along a path, pick the path. Now, if I look quite close, I can go all the way up here to the top, the middle, the ball mill snap to these points. Um, I would like it to be proportional if you want. If this never changes, you can pick the distance. You can also use a formula here. But proportional is good here, 50%. So no matter how big this gets, it'll stay. Say okay to that. I'm gonna show, give this a name. You can right click here in the history itself, give it a name, call this uh, profile blade tooth. Profile sketch. It's obviously a sketch. Plane, sorry. And on this, we will do a sketch, which we will call tooth profile. Again, doesn't mind uh, fusion if you call things the same, as long as it there's a number in the background that's keeping track of. For us, this is perfectly fine. It looks good if I, for example, slice this, you can see it's in the middle, nice. And I'm just gonna do my usual, um, I'll look directly at it. And we can rotate this if we wish, but let's just go as, as, as it's right. So I'm just gonna build up the shape first. Um, again, this is gonna be a little strange because we're slightly off angle. If you look at our view cube, we're not straight down on top. So carefully, carefully, um, start with a line. So that's active. I'm gonna draw this quite big curve and then just get a tangency, connect that guy together. Continue with the line tool still active. Put another line in the middle there. Uh, it's working quite hard here. My computer is definitely not happy with this stuff. I'm gonna make that a Structure line. Let's go for, see if this works. If <laughs> I can get it to select correctly. Just put those two vertical, so they're gonna go along parallel to the X, Z. It's time for some dimensioning. Actually, no, let's dimension, no, repick that to get rid of it. I wanna start with this jumps around a lot. I'm gonna go for 0.4 here. Uh, I just found this by trial and error when I was doing my practice. Uh, I'm actually exceeding some minimum, so that's all I'm after here. Uh, let's go for 45 here. And this one actually reclines back. So just trying to get it to go where I want. Can we get it? Nope. Let's try just doing the dimension here. It may force me to fix this. It's 105. There we go. Nice. This is 0.4. This is the me this is measuring off the real part. And see here, it it's hard to tell where we are exactly, but it looks like ah, there we go. So Trying to figure out here how high we can go. 
notice what's happening here, this length, which I'm going to start using as, I'm going to call it pitch. Uh, what do I mean by pitch? Number of teeth per inch. Uh, I'm going with a more metric approach, which is distance between the teeth. Uh, as far as I can tell, measuring like crazy with calipers and all the rest, it's 1.5 millimeters, which makes sense, I suppose. Uh, maybe I'm just being hopeful. Let's hope not. Let's put in a parameter. Pitch. It is a length, 1.5. And the comment here is going to be tooth pitch. Nice. So now I can dimension that as pitch. Locks it into place. Can't drag it around. It, it basically starts dragging as a lump. So let's go ahead here and start getting this guy sorted out. Let's lock our pitch line to our origin. Nice. And I'm going to have a fairly arbitrary because we need to move the whole pattern eventually. So let's dimension this as the center of the first cutaway is 0.5 millimeters out. We may have to change this as we go along. So, but here it is. There's our sketch. Not bad. Finish the sketch to an extrude. It's only active for me. I only have that one S sketch active. So let's do a little test. If I can grab it, it'll try to cut. Don't do a cut Do a new body. So we're going to do a pattern of bodies, symmetric. I'm going to make the distance this full width and call it blade thick. Say you want to make sure it sticks completely through, so just give it some extra uh, gusto. Three, no taper, nothing else fancy. Just say okay. Now comes the fun. If we were careful and lucky, our wave profile is there. We should be able to pattern this body along this path. This is difficult. Uh, so if it doesn't work the first time, rewind, try it again. Uh, I, I'm i hoping I get it right the first time because it also is kind of picky. Um, so this is uh, also quite a bit of work for the kernel and your computer. So it requires a little bit of patience here. So we can see here, right, as we have, we're active in the blade. We've got a bunch of, we should have two bodies here, the main body and this new tool body. So let's go ahead here and start trying to pattern it. So pattern uh, on a path, bodies, pick our body, path. And you'll see this, this dialogue will suddenly open up when we pick this path. Here we go. So no, let's give it a go. What happens if we just drag this guy? Oh, nice. And it does follow it. It's not bad. Quantity, let's leave that at three for now. Distance, what's going on here? Oh, so we've got spacing. It'll do the math for us if we had it in the right spot, but that's not what we want. We want pitch. So it's following along the path, a distance of pitch. Looks okay. Now let's try adding some more, like say 25. Hmm, they're all facing the same way. What if we change this to path direction? Oh, nice. So that's good. So we've got good previews running here. Let's figure out how many teeth we need. I want to make sure I go right off the other end, just in case. Start point zero. Start the line of our conic curves all joined together. Everything looks okay. Say okay. 
wait. Mm. Nice. That is rather good. So, what's coming next? Obviously, the solid combine. I'm going to select the main body. It'll assume a cut. What do we want to use for the tools? Oh, got those wrong. Let's reselect. Am I using the right selection? No. There we go. And I'll just do all of those. Notice this guy. Right there. It's, yeah. Come on. It's struggling with me. Got a little remnant here. Got some other problems. But not bad. We'll fix this up here. Okay, so the first thing we can try is to get rid of that end. We can probably move our sketch. Let's show that tooth profile. Show its dimensions. Change maybe 0.5 to something else. Keep an eye out here. It'll stay in screen for us, so maybe try 0.6. It's quite close. Don't know if that went. Hold on. Press enter. Oh, perfect. So that's fixed. Nice. So we're now at 0.6. No. What's going on here? Let's see that we've got these ends sticking out. So they're being trimmed off. This is the end part here. This is not great. We'd like it to be under control. Unfortunately, we can't really change any of this stuff because it's driven by the pitch circle. This is as close as I can measure at 0.4. So what do we do? How do we get this guy where we want it to go? Um, there's a bunch of options here, um, out of interest or out of completeness. Uh, we're going to use a move command. So before we do this combine, somewhere before anyway, it doesn't really matter. We can do a move. We should probably do it after the sketch. Probably, probably won't make much difference, but it is a kind of a secondary thing. So I'm going to do it after this extrude before the path, so I'm going to roll my history here. So grab that guy, move. Uh, you can try other options right here, uh, press pull and all that stuff. This is a complicated surface, usually move is best. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm moving the right way, so I'm going to pick a new pivot. So change the pivot to the origin, if it'll let me. Uh, you can also pick up here, that's fine. So at the top of the mount, accept the shift of pivot, and then try dragging it very carefully, something like uh, minus 0.2. Say OK. All we did was move that face out, did move the sketch, all that stuff, so everything else should be correct, including, importantly, this wave profile. So let's go to the end of the history. Nice. Looks good. See the front. It's uh, correctly balanced above and below. Perfect. That's the big job done. Side that sketch. 
and we can hide the wave profile as well. Let's go back up into the holder this time. That'll unselect our blade and activate our holder. We want to put a hole through here. Let's have a look at the standard part. I have these dimensions written down. We can see, ah, oh, Collins put it in the original layout. Okay, let's do that then. So let's adjust or edit our layout. Notice what happens. We go back up to the top level. We roll up in the history. So it's, it's up to you how you do this. Um, I'm up here uh, just trying to let the system work its best. So here we've got our part. So circle. Uh, there's two circles here, so I've got a guide, uh, 15 and 10. Come on, 10. No, it's not giving it to me still. 10. Make both of those guys construction for now. Let's have a look. So we've got circles to put on here. pattern we want. So it's a pattern, that's for sure. Let's do a circle. Now, interestingly, I don't want to, I want to control things about how many teeth there are there or spliny things or whatever it is. So let's go into our parameters first. So add another one. Uh, spline, no, let's call drive number. So this is not united. There's going to be eight and number of, I don't know what the splinish type things in the drive. <laughs> if you click once, you can fix that number. There we go. Okay. Let's use some lines here. It's a bit of tidying first. Now we're going to be working up in here, so I'll just get dimensions out of the way. Set it up. Double click. Make it into construction for now. Oop. Don't need to select that. Let's lock that into the origin. Want this to be symmetrical and all the rest, so the easy way is maybe to walk the. Oh. <laughs> uh, starting to get tired. Here we go. Let's make those horizontal. That looks good. Dimension that guy against that guy. It's going to be 360 divided by drive, whatever it was. There it is. 45. Nice circle. If I'm careful, just a normal circle. But if I kind of up in the right spot, if I look here, I can get a little tangency for free. Nice. Another one over here. There it is. And then one up here. There it is. Now, if I select all three, the first one I select should drive the size of the other ones if I say equal. Perfect. Uh, and again, as far as I know, as far as I can measure. Diameter of these guys is this outside diameter divided by 10. Nice. So everything's looking good. So let's put the middle of that guy above the origin. Let's put these guys on these lines that are controlling the angle. And now we can get tangents. If you click and drag, It'll give you tendency, and then you can find another one up here. Same up here. Nice. Escape. Now, uh, we don't have a thing yet. Maybe we can get it later. So we want a profile to extrude up. It's not right here. But then you think, oh, hold on, we have to do a pattern. So pattern. Circular this time. Not uh, solid, but a sketch circular pattern. Let's do them all. 
center point, the origin or the middle. And we've got number again here, so whatever it was, drive, I think. There we go. Eight. Say okay. We have profiles, uh, but not in the whole, not in here. That's not great. I want to be able to select it all at once. Let's undo that pattern. And you think, uh, okay, how about that break again? So today's the day of breaks. Break that edge. And then put a construction to it. Don't need to do these ones because they'll just join up. That's fine. So let's try that pattern again. Sketch pattern. Again, you could probably leave this one off. So let's try that center point. And it's drive. Hmm. Oh, missing a part. Let's make sure we've got our, there it is. Everything seems to be there. Let's try it. Did we get a profile? Oh, nice. What if we change the drive? Let's just let's do a little test here. Say we want to go to nine. It's to eight. Uh, this is going slightly off screen, but it's just for the video. Let's try uh, six. Yeah, perfect. Does work. Nine. Gets a bit tight, but it's not bad. Eight is what we want. There you go. So that works. Finish the sketch. Nothing happens. We hope. There's our surface. So all we need to do is go into the holder here. Show our sketch. Do an extrude. We should be able to pick one profile now. Nice. And cuts good. That distance is just all. And then it just stops wherever it ends. Go to the top level. Hide all our sketches. Make sure that everything's kosher. We might have a body hanging around here. What is that? Oh, hold on. Tiny little body. I think that's the one we removed. Let's try picking it. Um, if you're really irritated with this, which I kind of don't like, you can uh, actually just remove it. It's a bit of a cop-out, I feel, sometimes, but yeah, there it is. It's gone. So if you want, uh, make sure you do that, I suppose. Let's say that. Uh, it's probably one little tiny shred somewhere in here uh, left over our pattern. Uh, it's minute. Can't even see it. A little sliver body. Uh, there's our parts. Just a little perusal, make sure everything's looking right. Two parts are touching. Got our drive. The big event is the teeth. No strange ends. And we're finishing on a good end note here. Looks fine. There's our part. Now we're gonna be looking for, as usual, some volume. So at the top level here, let's see what we're at. Uh, just close it down so we can see the physical. Let's change the unit so we can get a little bit of a better volume. So if you're worried about what you've selected, just I get rid of everything to pick the top view, top level, sorry. And physical. Yeah.
Maybe millimeters was better. Sorry. <laughs> I'm flipping back and forth here. Let's do that. Let's do it in cubic millimeters. Sorry. Uh, properties. Close that guy up. There we go. I'll write that down. We want uh, 2,269. 2,269. And we'll maybe go for like plus or minus one or so. We'll see that on D2L. That's our goal there. Um, if you want, uh, we'll do one last little thing here. Uh, if you want to compact your future self, uh, you can, for example, uh, for example, make the group up the history. So you simply select. Oh, sorry. Let's show this so you can see what's going on. I can select this, uh, create group. If I right click, I can rename the group to say surfacing. Um, like for example, you might have a bunch of things for the teeth. So that's our teeth being, being made there. You can group that. Rename to something like make teeth. It's entirely up to you. Um, I will leave it at that. If you wanna replicate that exactly, that's fine. But uh, this time you're just following along uh, we're not going to get too picky about the exact order of features in here and all the rest. Just make sure your volume is good. Again, one last time, just so it's at the end here. Properties for the whole part. And we should be seeing uh, 2269 almost exactly. Uh, there you go. That is a long pair of videos on Quite a complicated pattern. Um, thanks for watching and over to you.